Hello and welcome to my studio. My name is Valerie McKeon and today I have a bit of a different kind of a video for you. A couple weeks ago I shared the unboxing of these pastels. They are by Giro. I love them so much. These are their summer set. So beautiful. And today I am going to show you what I do when I get a new set of pastels. I like to break them in half so that they're easier to use and also just become more familiar with the colors by swatching them out. This is a real meditative process for me to get familiar with these new supplies and get my hands dusty. So I thought I would bring you along in that process. This is going to be a little more of a relaxing video, maybe to put on if you want to feel a little bit calm, just watching beautiful swaths of color and pastels. So I hope you enjoy it. I also wanted to tell you that signups are closing soon for the Magic of Soft Pastel online course. It begins on Monday, July 17th. There are also just a few spots remaining. So I will go ahead and add a link into the description so that you can check that out and join. I'm also just so excited to say that there will be giveaway prizes given away throughout our six weeks to students for completing projects and homework. And Giro will be giving one of these sets in particular. There's actually a couple Giro sets that will be given away. I'm so excited. They are one of my absolute favorite pastels, but in particular, this summer set will be one of the pastel sets given away in those six weeks. So you will definitely want to join. And if you've ever felt the intimidation or loneliness of trying something new, then this course is for you. Because it's being done online, but in a live environment, you will have the accountability and the support and the encouragement of a real group and community of people. It's just, it's going to be great. I'm really excited and I would love to see you there. So let's get started and dive into these pastels. So the first thing that I do is break all of the sticks in half. It was so nice looking at them all shiny and new in the box. But when it comes to painting with them, I find that the half stick size is just really easier and what I prefer. So the Giro pastels are all numbered. So I like to break them and keep the numbered half in the box so that when I run out, I can go back and find that number and then know what I want to reorder of all of the colors that I really loved. So I just... Give it a little pressure here and break it in half. This is really an oddly satisfying activity here, but it was so nice to see them all just new. They are so beautiful. Giro pastels are made in France. I love them so much. They just have such a wonderful feel to them. Such a nice size. All right, now that I broke them all, I have my half sticks here. They're still so beautiful to swatch out. And sometimes the stick looks a little bit different when you actually get it on the paper. I'm 
right? So this is a piece of UART sanded paper. I have some beautiful sun coming in right now, but hopefully we can still swatch these out and, and see them really well. What a beautiful ochre color. An orange. I loved this set for skies. Oh, look at that for a sky color. How beautiful. I love that the blues are a little bit warmer. These to me just look like the perfect sky colors. A nice vibrant red orange. Really beautiful. These peaches also really excited me. I love to use peach, especially peaches in the sky. And this is such a nice peachy pink. This is one of the lightest values in the set. It's really nice. Another really lovely aqua color. You can even start to see how beautiful that would look with the peach. Beautiful, cool turquoise green. Oh, that's a beautiful, cool green. Cool, These cool greens will also work really beautiful in the land, in distant grasses. So pretty. Now some different shades of orange. These were more red orange. This is a little more of a yellow orange. Oh, you can just picture a sunset with this color. This is another one of the lightest values in the set. Beautiful blue. Mm. This is such a unique color. I love using greens in the sky. These will be beautiful in the sky. These are more on the blue side. And then this is a nice in between. Like a teal color. Another shade of orange. I just love the feel of the pastel and also just the feel of it going across the sanded paper, just the sound and the texture, really just everything about pastel I <laughs> absolutely love. It's a real sensory experience using them, you know, just swatching them out and playing with the colors and seeing them all is just so enticing and fun to me. Yet another series of orange. What 
Oh, that's really beautiful. This is a little more desaturated from these really saturated colors here of the orange and yellow. It's just a nice neutral down peachy color. And then this might be the lightest value. Um, it's about the same as this pink actually, this pinky peach, but this is, oh, let me get a little clean swipe here. Oh, really, really beautiful. You can definitely see layering with these. They're just such a wonderful texture. I go in and just rub some of them into the sanded paper, just get a really good idea for the colors. How beautiful is that? You can really see how lovely this would be as a sunset painting. Start to layer them. Get a little gradient going. Let's try this peach with the yellow. Really nice. These rich blues too. Lay some of that down. I was just thinking too how these would make beautiful ocean scenes as well. This green just seems like the perfect ocean green color. Pastel pigments are just so satisfying and fun to play with. Absolutely beautiful. The set really does give a nice range of values as well so that you can really create those nice gradients. So for example, I can take my darkest blue here, which could be at the top of a sky, and then gradually work my way down into the light value. That just gives such a nice gradient. And then I like to go back over just to marry those colors so it's not really defined stripes but just a smooth soft gradient i'm really feeling <laughs> filling the paper here but i don't want to stop because oh the colors are just so pretty and sometimes it's fun just to put pastel to paper without any any pressure or any plan and just mix colors and layer them and see what will happen when you do. Playing with this vibrancy. It's actually sort of working out to be a really cool, almost abstract piece. This golden color will be really pretty in the land as well. All right, so like I said, this was a little bit of a different video, just swatching out each of my Giro pastels in the summer set, but I hope you enjoyed watching 
And again, check out the Magic of Soft Pastel online course, and I will see you next time. Bye.